Howdy, I'm Mr. Tom Shepard. Um, we're assembled here today to memorialize a time. The time we wish to acknowledge are the golden years of ski. The folks represented, they broke world records only to break them again. They share something with most of us. It is the passion for the game. These guys and many of their competitors had an unbridled comparative spirit, indicative of that golden age. And I'd like to talk for a minute about that passion that these guys shared. We've all been there. We shot in the rain, we shot in the, sometimes even the snow and cold weather. I submit to you that those represented in these busts, they endured, they sacrificed to make themselves and usher in this whole golden era of skeet that we have come together to celebrate. The Greater Houston Gun Club has invested intellectual capital, time, and as you will see, considerable money in this only one in existence, Mount Rushmore Skeet. The men memorialized in the sculpture represent not only their personal achievements, but also the golden years of Skeet behind us, and part of the reason for the passion we bring to the game is for all of us to usher in a new golden year of skeet. That we will continue to, to do that, we will continue to do what we do, shooting the best we can, possibly some of us setting new world's records. But skeet is one of the very few games where we can actually win against our betters. I want all the great skeet shooters, and some of them are here in the world, to know how fantastic that is. It doesn't for a second diminish his or her reputation. And for the truly great, and some of them are here, it only builds their resolve for the next round. Singles, doubles, tiddlywinks, they don't give a flip. It's not often this happens, mind you, but it happens. And when it does, it's building the game. It's building the game at local gun clubs, too. The club champion gets beat by the new kid, and this theme is played out every year. This is one of the many attributes that will continue to contribute to the golden age of skeet going forward. Some other great skeet attributes include a never-ending set of personal challenges that an individual shooter can set only to achieve it and then reset and start again. Another one I've experienced is the absolute euphoria of doing something that I didn't think I can do, and that is achievable by everyone. You and I and all of our skeet shooting friends are the one in charge of this new era. You must evangelize the game and encourage your friends to do the same. This is uh, how you and I can be a part of the new age of skeet and a part of the new Mount Rushmore of skeet to be built in the very distant future. And thank you for the time and mostly for the energy each of you bring to the game. Thanks again. Oh. represented an epic in the history of skeet shooting, arguably the golden era of skeet. Wayne Mays and Todd Bender were not only best friends, but also the undisputed greatest champions of that era. From the late 1970s through and into the second decade of the 21st century, performance barriers were constantly broken and the bar constantly rose. Due to the abilities and dedication of a handful of shooters, in 2014, Todd was asked to select the shooters that represented the best of the best in that era, based on the following criteria. Work ethic, accomplishments and longevity. Presented here are Wayne Mays, Todd Bender, Mike Schmidt, and Robert Paxton, 
the best of the greatest air in our sport. Not in order. Right out. Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go So make the best of this test and don't ask why It's not a question but a lesson learned in time It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life So take the photographs and still frames in your mind Hanging on a shelf in good health and good time Tattoos and memories and dead skin on trial For what it's worth, it was worth all the while It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life 